Hello, this is Gary from Dev Samurai. In this video, we will talk about user story map. Let's start with the product flat backlog in product management. Traditional product backlogs are flat. A prioritized list is great for answering what do we do next. It's not so great for collaborative building and inspection, seeing how everything fits together, balancing a view of user value features with the need for iteration size stories, planning coherent value based releases. A flat backlog is not good for showing the big picture. User story map created by Jeff Button. He first introduced the idea in the early 2000s as a way to help teams understand the customer's perspective and prioritize their work. Over time, the concept of the user story map has evolved and become widely adopted in agile software development as a tool to organize and manage the product backlog. The user story map has proven to be an effective tool for ensuring that the team remains focused on delivering value to the end user and for communicating the overall product vision and goals to stakeholders. Who needs user story map? User story maps are typically used by software development teams, particularly those that follow agile methodologies. They are also useful for product owners, project managers, stakeholders, and anyone involved in the product development process who needs a clear understanding of the product backlog and prioritize. The user story map can help team ensure that they are delivering value to the end user and meeting their needs, as well as facilitating communication and collaboration between team members and stakeholders. So what is structure of user story map? Here is the structure of user story map. This is what we call the users. A map tells a story about a type of person doing something to reach a goal. Make sure to include them in your map along with a bit of information about them. Try using lightweight persona sketches to describe your user. The first row is the activities. Activities organize tasks done by similar people at a similar time to reach a goal. In Shira, this is epic. The second row is the backbone. Activities and tasks at a higher goal level give the story map in structure. The backbone is arranged in a narrative flow. Smaller subtasks, details, and variations hang down to form the rifts connected to the backbone. The left to right axis in a story map is called the narrative flow and is organized in the order you tell the story about your user to someone else. Of course, any specific user might choose to do different things in a different order. Use conversations to explain the details and variations. If you're looking for the precision of a workflow model, flowchart, or UML model, then a story map isn't your best choice. A story map will take lots of conversation to use effectively. But then that's the purpose of stories. In Chira, this is user stories. The third row group is user tasks. User tasks are short word phrases that are the basic building block of a map. If I asked you what you did earlier today when using email, you likely respond with tasks like this. Read an email message. Respond to a message. Mark a message as spam. This is the release slice. Use a tab line to identify slices of tasks that user might use your software for to reach their goals. The smallest number of tasks that allow your specific target users to reach their goal compose a viable product release. Use release slices to identify small experiments. Minimal viable products releases or a working skeleton version of your product. Identify the target outcomes of your slice on a sticky note or card to the left of the slice. In Chira, this is a print. Example of user story map. Here is an example of user story map in Alassian for Chira. Using actual user story maps, 
Romaps and Persona for Chira. Conclusion User Story Map is a visual tool used in actual software development to organize and prioritize user stories, which are brief descriptions of a user's goals and needs. User Story Map provides a clear overview, improve communication, help prioritize work, support collaboration, increase effectiveness, and facilitate continuous improvement. They are typically used in software development teams and anyone involved in the product development process who needs a clear understanding of the product backlog and prioritize. In the next video, we will talk about story map process. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. Gary from Dev Samurai.